Today, I'm gonna take this train, this train, another one, and this taxi right here, and this ferry right here, so I could do this. What it is, it's that nigga team, skin the color game, riding in, double double off, that's the color name, putting in that 400 grand, I just ordered this. The coolest thing about Seoul is its share accessibility in a couple different ways. One second you could be in the middle of a bustling city that's 75 square miles smaller than New York City but has 2 million more people. Or you could take a train and be in the middle of a forest on an electric scooter. Don't ask me how, you just can. To get to any part of Seoul, all you have to do is travel for a maximum of 4 hours. And I think that's the dopest thing because, because if you're in Korea and you see someone doing something cool, that means you can do it too with minimal effort. And I think the fact that this place is half city, half mountain slash forest range is amazing because it allows you to do a bunch of different things. I'm usually stuck in the city all day, so let's travel a couple hours out to this beautiful island. Don't know much about it yet, but you see, the point of these tea vlogs is to experience the unexpected, so let's go. So I'm at the first train station now in Anam and I have this. So this is a bag of chains that has accumulated in the two months I've been here and oh that's a lot of coins. That's a lot of coins. I don't exactly know where to spend this so I'm gonna try to put it on my t-card. Hopefully this adds up to I'm guessing 20,000 won. I'm, I actually have no idea at all. And I'm running super late. I, I really am. But still, I have to figure out how much is in this bag. And I'll put it in my T-Money card. So I'm at 4,000 won right now. This was not a good idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep, I know I was doing too much because the maximum amount of coins you can assert is 5,500 won. I got there easily, but I can't do this. I'm breaking a sweat right now. What? 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 Oh my gosh. Damn, I think I messed up. I don't think this train is going the extra stop to where I'm supposed to go. Fuck. So basically, I'm supposed to go to Shine, and this train was supposed to go there, but now I guess it's stopped over here and it's gonna go backwards. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do at this point. I really don't. Okay, I found the solution. I just have to go all the way around. Oh man, this is a lot right now. All right, yeah, the cleaner lady blessed with some information. So basically, for some reason, it's doing every other train's going to Shine, so I'm gonna hop on the train after this one that just got in right here and everything is gonna work out <laughs> like I planned. Okay, it's actually pretty cool because I'm at Shine now. I made it here safely, but my tip for anyone that's kind of in the same situation as me, AKA you're lost, is to ask somebody. Even though it seems intimidating, especially because I don't know Korean, you have to do it because my only other option right there was to go on the train and go backwards and probably take like a 30 minute detour. I saw this younger looking guy with earrings. So I'm like, all right, this guy might know English. And after doing that, the cleaning lady saw me from the glass and was like, come here, come here, come here. Cause she knew what I was trying to do. I was trying to get to Shine. But I'm gonna go from Shine that way. Like 14, 15 more stops. So this was the line that is really gonna be hefty. Gonna be like a 50 minute train ride, which anyone that takes a train, that's a good amount. And I'm actually headed out of the city of Seoul today. So that's why this subway line and this journey is gonna end up taking so damn long. But while we're waiting right now, mountains all around right there and that's the coolest thing about Seoul to me because the fact that you have mountains next to a large metropolitan area with millions of people it's a pretty amazing combination because the mountains means lots of forests lots of wildlife lots of natural stuff and then the city means lots of sadly unnatural stuff so it's a really good balance <laughs> Wow, 
Taking a train almost makes me feel like I'm a kid again, <laughs> honestly. Because the countryside, this looks amazing. I'm literally leaning down so I can look out the window like this. Excitement is honestly what I feel right now. It's a kitty. Oh, it's lit. <laughs> it's lit. I've been meaning to do that for so long. A stray cat in Korea has never let me pet them before. They're always running away right when they make eye contact. Oh, it's lit. It's lit. My day is low-key already complete with that amazing train ride. And now this random cat at the coffee shop. I'm about to eat that. This cat takes a pet, no problem. <laughs> but basically, right now, I met up with a couple other students from Teen, which is the program I'm doing. I'm gonna head to a place called Nami Sum Island, which is an island in the middle of a huge river, is the way I could describe it. But the main reason why I decided to come out today is because I really needed a break from the city life. City gets crazy sometimes, it really does. And the rural area slash the forest is just so accessible. I'm really mind blown right now. Like I feel excited like a kid right now. And I think that excitement is really something that's super precious in life. To feel so excited, you're literally smiling for no reason. And it really doesn't even have to be anything crazy. Like you don't have to see a million dollars to feel like that. Okay, so we just got to the island port where we're about to take a ferry. Right behind me, right there. That is zip lining. The highest zip line I've ever seen. And right over there is bungee jumping. I'm, I might have to do this. I'm gonna have to find someone to go with me. We're about to head on this ferry and head to the island. Right, I'm not sure I'm supposed to do this, but I have a couple scraps from the cafe I went to. Yo, that sound these fish are making with their mouth. But I stopped feeding them because I had a gimbap. Halfway through feeding them the gimbap, I realized this is a tuna gimbap, and that's how I knew I was doing way too much. <laughs> Turn music up. Ah. Yeah. Goes around, comes around. What goes like, 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 like goes in cycle. Everything that comes around goes around. So right now I got my hairnet on, I got my helmet on. Cause I got tired of walking, so I rented this electrical scooter for like eight dollars. And this is how I'm gonna get around and explore the rest of the island. Come stretch your tea like I nailed it. Rap moving slow like a creep. Shirt in the breeze like I'm sad. And I'm walking my steep like I nailed this. Wow, they got wild peacocks over here. That's a wild peacock. What? They got peacocks just casually chilling over here. Stop number two, bunnies. I don't get weak in the knees. Honey spread like a fan. Perfect like some Gucci sand. Open the sky, get a hand. Toss them up like a van, do. Are you not fucking with cash? God give you what you can handle. Give you what you can handle. I got the group like a handle. And I'm biking. I'm biking with me and my dang. AD's got the angels. So I made it to the front of the island. Woo! So I think coming to a place like Nami Island, probably the best thing about Korea, the fact that the nature and the urban life is mixed and it's just the integration between having something to do but also being in nature. There's like a million places like this. Korea is kind of the cheat code to having a bustling urban life where you can work many, many hours a week but still be able to come out to places like this on the weekend and enjoy yourself literally deep in nature. Like you can't really get any more rural than this. Nami Island, definitely a go-to if you're in Korea. And once again, if you're in Korea, you can come here because it's very convenient. I literally took the train here and it's definitely worth it. 10 out of 10 experience. But I'm headed out right now because it's starting to drizzle a little bit and there's something that I really want to make sure I get to do. I have to do this. I have to go bungee jumping. <laughs> so standing here seeing all these people go bungee jumping, I might be a little nervous now. The butterflies might be in my stomach just a little bit because the way these people's bodies are flying everywhere. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna back out. I paid 40,000 won, which is like $32. I'm, I'm going for it. I have to. All right, so I'm going upstairs now. There's no turning back.
Oh man. Oh, I just went, man. That was a crazy experience. It was really fast, but when you when you get up there, it's so high. A video wouldn't explain it even if I could. Oh, my legs are still shaking a little bit. <laughs> Before I went, I didn't have a second thought. But then when I was going up the elevator, oh, my heart started bumping. And then when you stand on the edge, oh, man. So right now, I'm at a restaurant right next to the bungee jump place. I chose this one just because it was the closest, but every single restaurant's the same. It's all chun and duck albi. So basically, duck albi, it's chicken ribs, and it's just something that's staple to Nami Island. There's like six different Dakalbi restaurants over here. So I'm gonna experience a Korean dish that I've never had before, but it looks really delicious. Someone's gonna come cook it for me, so I guess it's maybe Korean hibachi. <laughs> Hit the blunt, feel a keep it be keeping me coughing. Think I'm swimming the bitch like a dolphin. 